Hi guys, welcome back. This is China coming to you from my channel, That Girl China, with another Dollar Tree haul. Um, and also to let you guys know that today is the last day for the third um, person who was drawn to come forward. Um, it is probably like eight o'clock at night already. Um, they have until midnight to come forward and say, I'm a winner. Um, I'm going to link the video where I did the drawing in the description box. So um, if you submitted your name, you may want to check that video out because today is the last day. If I do not hear from you by midnight today, um, today is Wednesday, the 14th of April, um, that I'm going to draw again tomorrow um, or Thursday. Or, let me not say tomorrow. That that Well, maybe. Maybe. I'll say Friday. Let's say Friday. I'll draw again Friday and um, and then maybe somebody else can win it. Um, if not, um, I'd hate for you to lose out because Sally and um, Diane's um, gift totes have already been mailed out. Those pretty and pink gift totes are gone. They're coming FedEx. So be on the lookout, ladies. Um, they're heading your way. I will be emailing you the details. I've had an extremely long day. I think I have like a bag that I'm trying to hide with lighting under this eye right here, but I had a very long day. Started early, running all over the place. Um, but So this is a very late um, haul um, for me normally, because I normally do them early in the morning. But anyway, I've got some cute stuff for you guys, um, some stuff for you to laugh at, I guess. Um, and I've got some reviews on some products as well. Um, and the next time I do a haul, I have three new gift totes, gift totes, yes, gift totes that I am going to be drawing for, um, to give out. Um, and these are also super cute. So if you like the pretty and pink ones, you're probably going to like these as well. I've already gathered all the material. I've looked it all over, checked it once, checked it twice. I love everything about it, and I'm anxious to give these things away to you guys. So um, be on the lookout for that future video. That one will be the Friday haul, um, and that's where I will do um, the drawing for the, um, the third tote if I don't hear from the third winner today. Okay, so enough of that very long intro. Um, let's start with the um, the haul. Okay, first things first. I told you guys, um, for those of you who have been watching me, welcome back, um, that I wanted to do crafts um, involving felt. Um, unfortunately, there's only like, um, like four or five colors that I can get at Dollar Tree and trust and believe that I am a, a regular, I go probably about three times a week. I visit about five or six different stores and I can never find anything outside of these, you know, like four or five colors. Um, and in order to create a lot of different items, you need more colors than the ones that they're offering. But, um, what I wanted to do was to do a craft that primarily involved Dollar Tree products. So um, I cheated a little bit. I went to Walmart. I bought a pack of felt. It was a multi-pack. Um, I think it was like two something. Um, and it came with like, I don't know, like 15 sheets of other colors because I wanted more variety. But in terms of like glue sticks, Dollar Tree. Um, some of the felt, Dollar Tree. Um, what else? Um, I try to use as many Dollar Tree products. Um, the thing to keep from burning your fingers, Dollar Tree. Um, what else did I use from the Dollar Tree? Ribbon was from the Dollar Tree um, that I used to make these items. So I tried to incorporate as many Dollar Tree items as I could. Okay, so now let me show them to you. Now be gentle, guys, on your reactions because I've never crafted with felt before. So the first thing that I made was a parakeet. Um, and um, I use, oh, I use acrylic paint and paint brushes that I got from Dollar Tree to do his eyes. So that came from Dollar Tree as well, but it's a little parakeet. Um, what I'm gonna do is um, like sew in a little, you know, maybe like a little twine or some way that it can be 
um, hung. Um, and I'm thinking you could make like little ornaments or something for your tree. But this is what he looks like up close. I'm almost scared to show him to you up close because, um, again, I've never made anything with felt in my life. So this is the first thing. What I want to do with it is, one, it occupies my mind. It's really more for like, you know, to help with like anxiety and stuff like that, to give me something to concentrate on. Secondly, um, like little gifts. Third, I want to make ornaments for our Christmas tree. And then fourth, and the most important, is to make little things to hand out um, to MD Anderson. For those of you who have been following me, I'm collecting things to donate to the University of Texas MD Anderson Cancer Center. But I want to practice a little bit more because I want to make sure when I do finally donate them that they're of a really good quality. So it's a parakeet. That's what I made. Okay, so that's one of them. The second one you guys are probably going to laugh at. So I decided to make Charlie. And so if you've been watching me for a while, you will know that Charlie is my dog. He is a German Shepherd. And um, this is what the final product was. So no, he's. it, it looks like he's almost like on like, like a morphine addict because his eyes um, are not quite where I wanted it to come out. Um, this one I did use acrylic paint on because I found a brown, but I couldn't find this light brown. It didn't come in the Walmart pack. And so I used the white, um, felt that I got from Dollar Tree and I blended paint colors to create this lighter color. And this is how this came out. So that's the front of it. And then I used this ribbon, which I got from Dollar Tree and I sewed it in so it could be hung. Um, and there he is. So that's Charlie or supposed to be Charlie. So, um, you know, this is only my first time. Now I didn't, I was going to do it with like sewing. Um, but I didn't want to, you know, get like overwhelmed, um, because it is like a first time craft. And so I use a glue gun and this is an FYI for me to you only because, um, some of you guys may already know this. If you buy this little packet of three, what are they calling them? I think I shook the camera and I apologize. Finger protectors. They do work. They do protect you from the hot glue gun. However, what I learned was I used more fingers than I thought I was going to use. So I thought I would probably only use like, you know, two fingers on each hand or maybe the finger and the thumb, you know, the pointer and the thumb. But I wound up using more fingers. So it protected the fingers that were covered. But I didn't realize that I was going to be using more parts of my hand um, and I wound up getting burned. So I would recommend buying like two packs and putting it on multiple fingers because you'd be surprised you don't wind up just using, you know, your index and your thumb. I was using this one on this hand and these on this hand and I wound up getting burned anyway, but it did protect the other fingers that were covered. So I'm going to pick up another set of these. So this was used and this is from the Dollar Tree. And that's in the Crafter Square section. Just the FYI. So another item that was used, the glue sticks that I used in my glue gun were bought from the Dollar Tree. So I tried my very best to use the most products that I could from the Dollar Tree. This is a five pack of Crafter Square glue sticks. They're very long and they're really big. They're eight inches. So you're getting some, some long glue sticks. And I didn't even use one glue stick to do the two projects. So I still have plenty of glue, but I went ahead and picked up some more because I plan to do, um, I'm going to be working on this for a while. Um, you know, in my spare time, whenever that is. Okay. Another item that I picked up, um, I'm planning to refinish two chairs, um, that were, um, they were obtained through my parents and they're sitting in my garage and they're very like old fashioned looking. So I'm going to re update them. I'm going to paint them. I'm going to reupholster them. And so with the painting thing, I'm going to do that outside on the back porch or the back patio. You know, we have like a slab out there or as the golden girls would call it the lanai. I'm going to do it out on my lanai. Um, and I needed something to cover up the, um, the concrete out there um, to protect it from the paint. So I found this Frost King is the brand, lightweight drop cloth, classic uh, clear plastic, nine foot by 12 foot. 
and you're getting uh, it protects furniture flooring when you paint or clean so this is what it looks like um, so that's what that looks like right there there's um, I have some family over and I guess they're leaving um, they were downstairs watching a film um, but anywho so I'm gonna be using that to protect um, the concrete outside why I do my painting um, so if you're painting your house um, or you're doing some, you know, painting furniture or something, you may want to look to the Dollar Tree. Looks like you get quite a bit. Um, 9 feet by 12 feet. Um, and then it's telling you how thick the thickness is of it. But this is what I'm going to be using. And I found this in the tool bench section. Okay, so another item that I um, found was I bought, I purchased a Dollar Tree brand. Um, what is it called? Um, like the tape what is it called packing tape okay it did work so sally and diane i hope you'll get your packages um it did work but it was very very cheap and it tore very very easily so i will not be buying it in the future i'm not going to say that it didn't tape the package but i felt like i had to apply more coats of tape than i would have had i used like 3m brand or a more well-known like a brand name um so i still have it i will finish off the roll that i bought but i will not buy it in the future um if it's something that's not like detrimental like your mail you know i was mailing big boxes because those tote giveaway gift baskets were pretty big so the boxes were pretty large i think they were 14 by the inch the, it was like 14 inches in height and so i was my fear was that that tape wasn't gonna hold up. So I did tape it as many times as I could on each side. And so I'm, in order to have like confidence that it would make it without busting open. So uh, um, on the plus side, they do sell 3M um, brand um, name tape, um, which is, uh, you know, packing tape. So this is a brand name. So I purchased these. Now you're only getting um, 1.88 inches. It says 11.1 .1 yards. So you're getting 11.1 .1 yards. It's a fairly um, decent amount. And it's not like I'm constantly mailing out packages every other day. So this would be good for me. I found, well, I didn't find him. Actually a really nice gentleman in the store um, overheard my conversation with my son and he went out of his way to go look for some for me because I couldn't find them and he brought them to me. So I picked up several of these. So they do have 3M if you're looking for um, name brand packing tape. Okay, so staying on with, now this is not something new, but as you guys know, I am collecting um, like journals and notebooks and stuff for um, MD Anderson. I hate to keep, I'm sorry that I sound like a broken record, please forgive me. But there's also new people that don't know. And so that's kind of why I repeat myself. But um, since I'm collecting, um, you know, I could buy like a basic pack of like big pens and those would probably go a lot further, obviously, because they come in multi-packs and they're cheaper. But I'm like, you know, what makes you smile more than a little squishy pen that's a, you know, um, what is this thing called? A waffle. How adorable is this? And so this is by Jot. So I, I picked this one up and I picked up several squishy pens. So I picked that one up. Um, I also picked up this one that reminds me of Dr. Seuss. If you ever do a Dr. Seuss themed party, buy these. And these could be like really super adorable, you know, little gifts for your, um, your party uh, attendees. How cute are these? It looks like the little trees from, you know, um, his, his artwork. It's very distinct. Um, when you see it, you immediately know, hey, that's Dr. Seuss. And this is a Dr. Seuss looking pen. And like I said, it reminds me of the little trees that are in his books um, or the hair of some, one of the characters. So I bought this pen as well. Um, and then I bought this one. Um, look, you know, it's sequined, it's bright, it's vibrant, it reflects light so beautifully. And I think these pens would make, you know, the patients of MD Anderson, um, you know, the cancer patients receiving treatment, smile, you know, give them, and it's something for them to, you know, write in their journals. And I think it would have more of an impact versus, you know, your standard big pen. Not that there's anything wrong with big pens. I love big pens. 
um, particularly the blue ink, but I think these are just a little bit cuter. Now, Vic, if you're making cute pens like this, let me know and I'll be sure to pick those up. Okay, so let me show you what else I found because this was like super adorable. Um, they had it in other things. There was like, I think a pineapple, there was a, um, a sloth, um, there was a variety and these are called solar dancers, but you have to get the classic one. The classic one is the Hawaiian girl in her grass skirt. Um, and she's dancing and she's got her little coconut, uh, bra. And I just thought this was so adorable. I hope you can see this. I really do too cute. I mean, this is like the original one, right? Um, they, again, they had a huge variety of all different kinds. I think about four or five different types, but I went to this cause this is what drew my attention. It is a little bit dusty. Let me see if I can kind of like kind of clean it off. It was sitting dusty in the shell. So let me see if I can clean it off so you guys can really get a good look at it. Um, hopefully that helps some, but there she is in her little, uh, in her little Hawaiian outfit. I think this is so adorable. And then when she gets to dancing, her skirt shakes. So apparently I can't get it to do it right now, but that's what it does. Um, so I picked that up and I think that is so cute. It's so cute. I couldn't pass it up. Okay, guys, um, and if you remember, if you guys recall in a previous video, I told you that when I met my husband, um, we were in junior high and back in the game, this is like back circa 1993, um, 93, 94, um, the, the cologne, the all be a cologne, right now it's like Sauvage, I think, uh, for men is like the one that's like the women go crazy for. But back in the back in the day when I was, you know, a teenager, um, it was cool water. If you had cool water, oh my God, it smelled so good. So I found another brand that's doing cool water as well as EAD. They carry another one called EAD, but this one is much larger. You are getting a 2.5 fluid ounces. It's called Revel um, for men. And they're calling it Riptide in this case, but it says Our Expression of Cool Water by Davidoff. Now let me open, can I open it up? Yeah. So remember, um, Father's Day is coming up. You know, I have a boyfriend. Um, and this is the size of the bottle. Look how big that bottle is. It's huge. It's huge. Now the big test is, does it smell like cool water? So let's see. Take me back to 1993, 94. Let's see. Yes, it does. Oh my God, it absolutely does. So yeah, um, oh, it smells. All right, I think I need to put y'all on pause and I'll come back. Cause this is, oh, it smells so good. And it's so big. So the other one is really small. It comes with a little, I think like a body wash or a lotion or something. But I think this is the better deal of the two. Again, so if you are on the lookout for colognes, their um, knockoffs are pretty close to the real scents. And this one definitely, most definitely, smells like cool water and you're getting a hell of a lot of it. Because again, 2.5 fluid ounces. This is a packaging. And I found it where they have all the colognes. Um, what else was in that aisle? Um, where the toothpaste was at. That's the aisle that I found it in. Your Dollar Tree may have it somewhere else. You know, every Dollar Tree is different. Okay. Another thing I picked up is what I noticed because we're going out walking a lot are that my lips are getting kind of like chapped. Um, you know, we're walking like probably six days out of the week, five miles. And, um, apparently I'm a mouth breather, which I, you know, it's, it, so it's drying out my lips. So I picked up this RVO tropical coconut lip balm, vitamin E and aloe, soothes and moisturizes, provides long lasting lip care. And so I went ahead and picked this up, you know, to, um, help soften and soothe my lips. Cause right now it's, they feel kind of, um, you know, almost like frostbitten or something. Or it also could be because I wipe my teeth and maybe it came from that, I'm not sure. But nonetheless, I, I needed something to help with the lips. Okay, so I'm gonna put this video on pause real quick, guys. Stay with me, we've got some more cute stuff coming up. Um, I've gotta make sp space on my desk here, I'll be right back. 
All right, guys, and I am back. Okay, so for all you tigresses out there, you cougars, you um, cats, I don't know, you kitty cats, um, I found these um, coffin-shaped 12-piece um, LA Colors Brilliant Artificial Nail Tips, um, glue not included, so you're getting two extra ones for sizing, and they are called So Spoiled. Now this is not my style necessarily. I think I'm a little bit, uh, I keep my, my little kitty under, under wraps, you know. Um, it's a little bit, what is it called? Um, that's my alter ego. But for those of you who let your, you know, your inner tigress out, we are your inner leopard. Um, they've got these pretty nails. They're really cute. You have a leopard print and they are in gray with a black um leopard design i think these are so cute so for those of you who like these really outland they're really you know out there outlandish nails really cool um a dollar hello la colors is a pretty good brand when it comes to nails i've had a lot of success for that with them um kiss is my first choice you know if they have kiss which are rarely here and there in the dollar tree but um, my second choice would be LA Colors. My last choice would be um, the, um, what are they called? Sassy and Chic ones. Those are, to me, are the, the cheaper, on the cheaper end. They tend to break easier. These last for a pretty good while. I would say on average about a week, week and a half. The Kiss Nails for me last about two weeks. But again, you're getting a 12 pack and they have a variety of designs. This just happens to be one of them. So if you're, if you're into that kind of style, head to your Dollar Tree. Okay, so I was running out of, what is it called, powder? Um, press powder and LA Colors um, is the brand that I picked up. They had a variety of colors, um, but I went ahead and picked up this one. This is the one that hopefully matches my shade. Now I tend to appear a little bit lighter on camera, but that's because there's like a lot of lighting on me. There's lighting coming from all different kind of angles. So I'm not as, um, fair skinned as you guys see me on camera. And the thing is when you're applying, uh, you know, uh, makeup to be, you know, on video, you actually have to cake it on more and you have to use a darker shade than you normally would in order to not look pale. Um, so I'm working on it guys. I'm new to this stuff. So if I look like a pale ghost, that's what it is. Um, but anyway, I picked up this one. It's the color beige. Pressed powder, LA Colors, long lasting wear. Um, it comes with a puff applicator, which is included. And I do love the little applicator because it really makes your skin look really smooth. So I went ahead and picked it up. They did have it in a variety of colors in case you were interested in that. So they may have your shade. Okay, I bought more of these. Oh my God. I, you know, I told you guys I had never tried it because I thought it was a dollar tree brand and I thought that it would be like watered down and like not you know like cheap or whatever but no I have like totally fallen in love with it and since every time I'm getting out of the shower I'm like lathering myself in it um, I'm practically bathing in it from head to toe um, I bought one like a week and a half ago it's empty it's gone it's it's no more no mas no mas so I had to go and buy some more and since I'm gonna go through them so quickly I picked up three of these. I love, love, love the scent. They do have the regular original one. That one, I it says it's scentless, I think, but it has a scent to me and I don't really care for it. It doesn't stink, I just, you know, I'm just not a fan of it. And I think they also have stuff for the face um, and they also have one with aloe, but this is the one that I absolutely love and I can completely tell the difference and how softer my skin has gotten since I switched brands. Um, I was using, what is it called, Cetaphil? 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 Cetaphil. I was using Cetaphil, but I really, really, really like this. And the scent is just like, oh my God, I, I love it. So if you guys are on the lookout, please, and if you've never tried it, give it a chance. Let me know what you think. Um, but that's, you know, that's just a review on that product. I just wanted to follow up with you. Okay, another review on a product, which is this thing called Bath & Beauty Makeup Brush Cleaner Rinse-Free Formula Quick Drying. I used it last night. 
it dried my brushes out very quickly i love love the scent the scent is so fresh when i was applying like for instance i have a makeup brush here you know touch myself up when i was applying my makeup on this morning it still smells it smells so fresh it's got a oh my an amazing smell and it cleaned the hell out of these damn brushes these brushes needed to be clean they were like oh my god like how did i let it go this long so um when i cleaned them it the i cleaned them like kind of like in a a paper bowl paper tray and it looked like muddy water it was so gross so i most definitely would recommend this to you the cleaning all of the the gunk started pouring out all the makeup it left a beautiful fresh scent that i can still smell on the brush the next day i love the scent and um it works wonders i'm definitely gonna run back to the store and pick up some more of this stuff because i don't want it to be one of those flash in the pan kind of products where they have it for a little while and then it disappears and you never see it again i absolutely loved it so if you're looking for something to clean your makeup brushes um this is called bath and beauty let me try to get it to focus for you guys and you are getting five fluid ounces love it love it love it two thumbs up okay another thing I use a hair dye. Um, it is darker than my normal shade, but it did work. It worked like any other hair color would work. I didn't have any adverse reactions to it. The only thing is that um, I was only looking to touch up my roots, so I only did my roots. So the top of my hair is darker than the bottom of my hair. The bottom of my hair, as you can see, is lighter, but it kind of created that, what does it call it, bowel and I can't pronounce the word. You know what I'm talking about, where it fades into another color. It kind of created that look. So I'm totally okay with it. I definitely recommend that hair dye. Um, I think it was called Color Easy or something like that. Um, I showed it in the previous video um, and it's a dollar. So, you know, versus paying $14, $15 or going to pay professionals to do and pay $200 or over or whatever it is that you pay. Um, I would recommend you at least trying it out. Um, unfortunately, they're limited to four shades. I normally go lighter, but I'm not minding this darker color. And it may lighten up as the days go by because I just did it last night. So, yeah, here it is. And all the grays are gone. So, that's the ultimate goal. No gray. Okay. Let's keep moving forward, guys, because this is starting to run long. They're putting out a lot of new tumblers. And I'm a huge fan of coffee. As you guys know, I drink coffee like literally every day. You already know about my uh, my romance with Victor, um, as I've discussed for those of you who've been watching me for a while. Um, but I really like this one because it says rise with the tide. And since they do have this whole um, beachy, you know, look coming out, nautical theme coming out, I thought this is perfect to go with that look. Now, I do not live, well, I kind of live near a beach, Galveston, if that's what you want to consider a beach. Um, it's, you know, it's a beach. I live about an hour and a half from Galveston. Um, but, you know, this is super cute. I love these. These are dishwasher safe. Yay. These are um, microwave safe. Double yay. And it comes with a pack of two. So you can gift one to a friend. And this makes for a cute little gift. And the quote is just so adorable, rise with the tide. And I'm liking the um, font. They had several different new ones. I'll show the other ones in a later video because I knew the video was going to run long. I also picked up these in case you're planning to do a 4th of July barbecue, a party, or even maybe even a Captain America um, themed uh, birthday party. Because, you know, I think he has like that shield um, I could be totally wrong because I don't know a whole lot about, you know, superheroes. I don't follow that kind of stuff. But um, I remember him having a shield and it has a star in the middle of it. And these are kind of his colors. So if you're doing a Captain America um, birthday party for one of your kiddos, you could use these bottles. Or again, of course, 4th of July, you're sitting out back, you're barbecuing with your friends. These are only a dollar and they're super adorable and it comes in more than one print. I just happen to pick up this one and it is very large. It just describes it as a bottle. This one is no microwave, no dishwasher, hand wash only. Okay, 
Another item that I picked up because we're doing a lot of walking, we're drinking a lot of water. These are water bottles. Um, not microwave safe, not dishwasher safe, but they are BPA free. They came in purple, blue, um, this pink color. And I just love the color of it. And then, you know, you screw off the lid. And this is what it's looking like, okay? And um, so I bought it in this color. And I also, and it's large, look how large that is. It reminds me of that Voss uh, water bottle. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever tried it. I did not like it at all. I bought it because of the aesthetics, but no, it tastes like tap water to me. Okay, and then I bought it in this beautiful teal color. Isn't that gorgeous? So um, these are the two colors I picked up. But remember, purple and blue were other options as well. Okay, another thing. Let me get on a vent with Dollar Tree. What I have noticed, and I know you guys who are regular D-tiers, um, their, their um, rolls of paper towel are shrinking and shrinking and shrinking. I remember it used to be like 150 sheets, and then it became 130. And now today I see 100 sheets per roll. Um, I'm starting to see that they're not lasting. You're almost having to buy three or four packs. By the time you do that, you might as well buy it at the grocery store. You're certainly not saving money. But what I did find is when I buy it like this, instead of the roll, it does last. Now this comes with 150 napkins and this sucker lasts versus the um, the roll of paper towel. So if you're looking to buy paper towels and you buy paper towels at Dollar Tree, I would recommend buying these because the other ones are shrinking down. I just, I left Dollar Tree, there I am shaking the camera again. I left Dollar Tree today and the roll said 100 sheets per roll. I mean, they're just shrinking, shrinking, shrinking. Um, and they don't think I'm on to them, but mm, you got to get up pretty early in the morning to fool this girl. Um, and I'm just not going to buy those anymore. These, on the other hand, work really well. Okay, so if you're looking for a unique way to package your Mother's Day gift, birthday present, whatever, um, they have this beautiful, what is this called? A gift box. And so... Um, I just thought it was so pretty. It almost reminded me, and remember guys, that I told you that after seeing the film Memoirs of a Geisha and um, the biography slash, um, what is it called? Like a soap opera called Rui's Royal Love in the Palace. It's on YouTube. It is so good. It is so good. I just became obsessed with Asian culture, you know, Chinese, Japanese. Um, I just love it. And this kind of has that look to me. Um, imagine a beautiful scarf in here, perfume, earrings, gift card, whatever you can imagine to put in here to give as a gift. Um, you know, I just thought it was so pretty. And it particularly reminded me of the Asian culture just by the design. It came in a variety of colors. I picked it in red. Um, and I'm going to be using it to give something to my grandmother. And she is obsessed. Moving on, speaking about speaking about mom's um, day, um, I know my camera said the battery's getting ready to run out. Um, I picked up this card right here that says, life is sweet, moms make it sweeter. Is that not the truth? I have to raise my hand on that because I'm a mom. Okay, and this is from the Hallmark Heartline Collection. And look at those beautiful heart-shaped strawberries. You got this gorgeous ribbon. It's almost got like a metallic finish to it, reflective, and then this is the inside of the card. And it would normally cost $2.39, you probably can't see the price there, but I got it for 50 cents. Because Hallmark cards are two for a dollar, in case you guys didn't know. Um, that's for the new viewers who are not aware that you can get Hallmark cards, two for a dollar, 50 cents each, at the Dollar Tree. Okay, another item that I picked up. You know I'm collecting books for MD Anderson, and I just thought, I love the artwork. The artwork is what gets me. So this one says, Sophia and the Purple Traveling Case. It's written by Mary Lee Joy Mayfield and illustrated by Pan Giorgio. George, ugh, I'm slaughtering that for sure. But look at the artwork, guys. I don't know. It's, it, the illustration is always what gets me, you know. I think it's super cute. Um... It's basically saying Sophia's Aunt Stella comes to visit the family every year with her purple traveling case, 
When Sophia's dad offers to carry the case up the stairs to the guest room, she adamantly refuses his offer and lugs it up the stairs herself. No one knows what is in the suitcase, but everyone is curious. Join Sophia in discovering what's inside Aunt Stella's purple traveling case. And, you know, you can address it. This book belongs to, and you can write the name in there. And it's just, you know, the illustration. I just, that's what I fell in love with. I think it's super adorable. And this is going to make for a really great donation to MD Anderson. So that's where that's going to be going. Uh, for you ladies who love keeping your files, you like being organized, you have an office, you have a desk, um, a filing cabinet. How cute are these file folders? You're getting three and you almost have like this, um peony design and so this is what this looks like so three per pack it's by the label jot and these are eight and a half by eleven is the size and you can label them up here gorgeous i just really really love the print especially because these are peonies and not your standard roses gorgeous and i found it in the same aisle where they sell the envelopes and those type of items okay also picked up coloring books you know, this is a great place to pick up coloring books. And this was with the Disney princesses. I really picked it up because my favorite princess is Mulan. And this is going to be donated to MD Anderson. But you know, this is the best place to get coloring books. You cannot get coloring books cheaper. Uh, if you go to Walmart, they're not cheaper. You know, you would think Walmart would be cheaper as a wholesale buyer and one of the largest buyers. Um, but no, you can actually get them cheaper at Dollar Tree. And I bought this large print word hunt. And it's, um, you know, just a variety of different stuff. It says all new puzzles, sharpen your memory, boost your vocabulary. Also going to be donated to M.D. Anderson. And the very last thing I'm going to show you is what is called a Mega Magnet Try Me Super Strong. So this is a magnet. It came in a variety of colors, blue, I think yellow. Um, and it says kids science. So I found this in the toy section. Um, and it's a real magnet. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. I'm probably just going to donate it because there's nothing I can do with it. Um, but maybe you guys can come up with something or if you have kids at home and you're, you know, you're, um, homeschooling and you're, this is a subject you're covering. You might want to consider picking that up. Okay, guys. So this is going to bring the Dollar Tree haul to a wrap. Remember, the last person hasn't come forward. Please come forward and claim your prize. If not, I'm going to do another drawing on Friday, and I'm going to show you a whole new um, round of gifts that I'm going to be giving out that I'm going to be um, doing a drawing for. There's three different tote bags, super adorable. So look forward to Friday's haul. Um, and again, last person, last call you have until midnight, please reach out to me. Um, I look forward to hearing from you. If not, you guys who, um, you know, signed up, you still have a chance to win if we don't hear from that person. I'll talk to you guys at another time. Always love spending time with you. Thank you so much for joining me today. Hope to catch you at the Dollar Tree. Mwah. Peace out.